Molt bon dia. Good morning and thank you very much for being here, Minister Rigao, Mr. Hoffman. Thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to address the seminar and welcome to this day that I'm sure will be meaningful enough. You will be seeing interesting school experiences, we'll be enjoying, we'll be having plenty of information and we'll be having plenty of data that later will have to be digested at our old schools. Let me also tell you that precisely today with the M Schools seminar, it's the 10th year of the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, so therefore a reason for celebration. After this day and after some short introductions, I will tell you about all the things that you will have to look upon and the different surveys, the feedback surveys that I will ask you to fill. So without further ado, I'll now give the floor to Mr. John Hoffman, Chief Executive Officer from GSMA. You have the floor, Mr. Hoffman. Buenos dias. As you know, I no hablo español, no hablo uh, catalan, no hablo inglés, but I'll try in English. Um, the GSMA is very, very proud to be a partner and a participant in the M Schools program, a wonderful initiative of the Mobile World Capital Barcelona, the Generalitat and of course the city of Barcelona. I am honored to be associated with the M Schools program because the future, our future, is in your hands. Our children are in your hands and they're our future. And nothing, in my opinion, is more critical to our future, to our children, than education. You are part of the educational change that will transform our society, and it begins here in Barcelona. Close to 40,000 students have participated over the last two and a half years in the M Schools program. Over 300 schools have submitted entries for the Mobile Learning Awards in 2015, which we held the awards program uh, just one week ago today. And over 600 schools throughout the region have signed up for the mobile history map in our first three months. And 90% of the teachers would recommend the program for their peers. Now, the GSMA conducts a lot of research, and we ask many, many questions. And I tell my, pe my staff and my folks that are participating in the results of those questions, there are really only two of them that are important. Would you recommend us? And would you buy again? And for having nine out of 10 of the educators that have participated recommending to their peers, we're all doing something right. Getting the kids to buy again is our most important task at hand. But that's an easy one, because digital technology in the hands of young people is as natural as drinking, as breathing, as learning how to walk. It's, it's their digital life. So if we stand back and look at our survey results, the opportunities that lie ahead are confirmed. They are going to buy again, and they are going to recommend. The GSMA would like to give special thanks to the General Etat for participating uh, in this program, along with all of you, your schools, your educators, and all of us together are making M Schools a success. You're also part of a global change taking place in education. As some of you may know, I have five children, and uh, they are all part of the digital pioneers. 
the digital pioneers who know nothing about the old way of learning. They're in the midst of this transformation of moving from books, reading, writing, to a digital society. And our challenge, your challenge, is how to bridge that gap to accelerate that momentum change in a program like M Schools is a poster child for that around the world. And our aim is to transform and build important new digital skills for the future. Now, some of you may have heard that I was inspired to think about something like M Schools in the first time I met with President Moss, just shortly after he was elected. And he said to me, he said, John, I have a favor. I have a request. Unemployment for our children is very, very high, almost 50%. Some areas higher than that. How can we use the program of the Mobile World Congress, the Mobile World Capital, to address these needs? And as I thought about it, the M Schools program is the perfect opportunity to help children gain new digital skills for their life and our future. So thank you, Mr. President, for being the inspiration. Those of you in this room, your colleagues back at school, your friends, you hold the digital keys to our success. You also have a bit of responsibility. You have the responsibility to ensure our future is a bright and vibrant one. The digital transformation is happening around the world. The educational transformation with M Schools is happening here. We are all proud citizens of the Mobile World Congress Barcelona and the M Schools program and I couldn't be more thrilled to have you here at the Mobile World Congress and this M Schools program here today. Thank you all for coming and more importantly, thank you for helping and participating and fostering our future. Muy bien. Thank you, John. Honorable Consejero Dear Catalan Minister of Education, Mrs. Rigau will now take the floor. Good morning, everyone. Director General. Dear Ms. Hoffman, General Manager, General Directors, representatives of parents' associations, experts, educators, good morning and thank you for being here. Today, Barcelona and Catalonia, we can claim that we are a pioneering capital in the introduction of mobile technologies at school. We all know that Mobile World Congress has placed the eyes of the world upon Barcelona, but now it's also the school of the future that's being placed on under the spotlight. And it's something to celebrate because it precisely embeds with our long tradition at education and because it provides us with elements so that we can prepare for the future. And this is why I'd like to thank the Mobile World Capital Barcelona Foundation and the GSMA once more. The fact that they have so strongly supported in the field, supported us in the field of education. This Changing Education Together Day will enable us to meet here of pedagogues, educators, and heads of schools from all different areas so that we can move forward. Precisely yesterday, the Schools Council of Catalonia 
passed a paper on mobile technologies at schools. For days we have been discussing our schools and also sometimes in city councils in different areas and of course in the media whether mobile phone must be left outside the classrooms or must be brought inside the classrooms. And I'd like to thank the schools councils and all the parents associations, the students, the trade unions, the local administration and so on to have come up with your reflections and we know that Ferran Ruiz will tell us more about it so that we can have a tool that will enable us to consider the mobile phone as a positive tool and furthermore providing us with the necessary possibility to better educate on its usage, meaning its best usage and not just being reactive to it. This is therefore a pioneering work here in Catalonia in reaching an agreement amongst all people in the educational setting in order to not have to consider sanctioning the use of the mobile or and leaving it outside the classroom. This is therefore one further example of cooperation. And here the parts Mobile World Capital Barcelona and GSMA, the City Council and the Catalan government, the Generalitat, wanted that the innovation, the state of the art technology and the educational world went hand in hand. You could easily leave these only in the hands of the industry or, or the businesses. But then Mr. Hoffman put it quite clearly. The Prime Minister of Catalonia was clearly focusing on education and employment and having had the opportunity to find such people being aware of the world of education in order to bring together these two challenges, employment and education, as a guarantee for the future for our children meant bringing about some changes in the world of education. And the Mobile World Capital and the M Schools program is leading us forward in this regard because it has acted as a driver for us in the Catalan Ministry and for all of us that we have been participating in the different educational action plans amongst the different developments that we have gone through. And yet, as I was saying, this has been a driver, a way to engage us, and it has placed us under the spotlight. And let me thank you for that. But this could be, this couldn't be any true if we wouldn't have had the participation of the schools, the educators, and the students themselves. Precisely last week, the mobile awards were given, where it was clearly seen the good work, creativity, and the ability to innovate in our rooms. And one important thing, in urban schools, in rural schools as well, in the high-income schools or highly complex schools with diverse students, diverse situations, so that through technology, other than working on a more even ground, they are contributing with more creativity, with more richness, because there are more different cultural parameters. Therefore, digital competence becomes a key thing, not just for the curriculum, but also for us all, making us all um, on an even ground before a given device. We all know when we are in the field of education, I'm sure Mr. Hoffman knows this pretty well, having five children, that in education, ju results don't just happen. If we've had the chance to participate in different awards, to showcase the work of our students, is not just by chance. Chance may have helped us bringing the mobile world in here, Indeed, it was a long sought chance, but then these outcomes of our educational program were not by chance. It's been a tremendous opportunity for us all and for all our schools and our educational policies. Yet, 
the outcomes that we are starting to see are fruit of the effort that has been brought about by our faculty. We wanted that the digital skills, the digital competence, was not just something in the hands of the most motivated people. As you probably know, digital competence, as stated by our policies, has a specificity of its own and it must be achieved for each pupil. We introduced this in Barcelona. It's been incorporated into the school's curricula because, as of today, the new literate pupil would be a pupil with a digital competence. Preventing digital illiteracy, preventing the digital gap, the di a major social gap that could be brought by the use of new technologies, and having set these as a compulsory part, the digital competence places this new literate model, this new literate individual fighting to breach this digital divide that no doubt would bring poverty in the future. This is why our, our motto is changing education together so that we can better realize the potentialities of people and for a better individual growth and collective growth. And before the president of the school's council, Mr. Ruiz, tell us about the content of this paper, let me announce here, of course, that we at the ministry will take that well into consideration in order to further enrich the usage of mobile phones at schools, and we will disseminate this so that there is a common target, a common approach throughout Catalonia. Therefore, this work has been accompanying them schools program, the program, the new curriculum, the digital competence, the work done by the Schools Council of Catalonia, innovations, awards, working with um, educators, and we are convinced that in Catalonia, in the educational world, even considering all the challenges ahead, the, we will be consolidating as a pioneering country in the improvement of the learning processes and in the level of digital competence. Mr. Hoffman said that we educators have the keys in our hands for transformation. And it's true, we have a um, main responsibility, and this is why we chose this. We chose to devote our lives to help out children to grow and to try and have a better world. This is why I'm convinced that new technologies are in the best of hands when being placed in the hands of the teachers. It is precisely so that I want to thank you for the work done so far and your hopes to reach even further. Thank you very much.